Hi, this is Nick from Inside Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at um, how to achieve that film look that everyone seems to like, including me, I must say. Um, uh, so I'm going to be showing you two ways of doing it. One's very simple and the other's a little bit more complicated. Um, and you can uh, choose, you know, which you want to use depending on the effect you want to get and how quickly you want to get it. So if we uh, just have a look at this clip of the bee, this was actually shot on DV. This is what it would look like with the simple film filter on. So you can see that uh, there's a slight blurring. The colors are a bit richer. Um, it's a little fraction darker. So it's slightly softer, it's a bit grainy. Um, and that's what film looks like, really. Um, the, t the, the basic things are the slight glow or blur and uh, slight graininess and um, also a slight colour tint. I mean it depends what sort of film stock because every film stock is different and it'll depend on lighting and lenses and uh, all sorts of um, environmental um, things as well as to what the film will come out looking like. Um, but what we're going to do is just be very generic. We're going to say we'll add some blur and we'll add some noise, some grain rather, and um, leave it at that. Okay, so what we'll want to do is uh, copy our master and paste it over here. So we've got this nice lovely shot of the bee on the flower from London stock footage um, and what we want to do is add some film effect to that. First thing we need to do then is to duplicate the clip so it's uh, alt and then drag up so we've got exactly the same shot. Firstly what we want to do is add uh, blur to this shot. So effects, video filters, blur, Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur to be probably a bit more correct. And um, I'm going to set that to about radius of about eight. Um, now what you do now is drop the opacity down to about 65 and also add the composite mode of overlay. I want to see the difference um, immediately. I mean that's that's very very simple enhancement you can make to your footage. Um, what we want to do though is um, put some grain in there as well. So on layer one, in fact, what I'll do, I made some handy little um, labels earlier. So what I'll do is just put those into place and um, we can see the different layers. Okay, so now we can see the difference. So this one is the original, untouched, no filters. This one is uh, the blur and on this we will add our grain or our noise. So go down to stylize, add noise. <clears throat> now that looks quite horrible. So basically what you want to do is to go to Gaussian noise and go to somewhere down there. About 0 0.1, maybe even less. And you can just see there's a very soft grainy effect to that, which comes through on the center panel. There. So what we'll also do with this is add uh, a tint, a um, very subtle tint of color. Now it, it, all film stock, film film stocks vary in the, the the way their color affects the image, the end picture. So we, we're just going to use image control tint and we don't want black clearly or you might do I mean it's up to you but uh, what we'll do for this 
and we'll just add a sort of fleshy color again film stocks do vary and you could go for a, a, a sort of pale blue if you wanted um, but um, we'll go for the, this fleshy tone which is very light sepia actually but once you add it to the color um, you can see there it sort of looks a little bit washed out and uh, nice you can drop that back say about 80 79 80 So on layer one we've added noise, 0 0.1 with Gaussian noise film grain and a tint about 81%. So if we just knock these out, and uh, get rid of the crop there, there's your finished film look. I'll just render that. So there we are. That's that's your basic film look. You can see the grain fizzing away here. Possibly, I don't know whether you can. If you're watching this in HD, what you might also want to do, um, it's a very popular thing these days, is to put a sort of vignette on it. So select your base layer. Go to vignette, which is in stylize down the bottom. You have to be pretty careful when using a vignette. If it's on a, for instance, a bright blue sky, you're going to probably notice some banding around the area that you've vignetted. So just be careful of that. Watch out for that because it can it can sort of sort of look banded here and and just sort of spoil your overall image. Um, so I'm just going to make this a bit darker because this is quite a dark image anyway. So you're not going to see that banding. Blur amount affects the amount of blur in the corners where the vignette is. Um, fall off is the amount the, the amount of gradient in the vignette. And darken is the darkness of the vignette. So we go from that, which is DV, to that, which is our film look. You know, some may prefer the original but it depends what you're working on and what, what effect you want to get. Okay, so as you might have guessed, I've run out of time. Um, what I'll do is uh, post the other Film Look tutorial up uh, as a part two to this. So uh, check that out as well, because that uh, shows you a different way of doing it. If you want to uh, get in touch, contact me through the website or my YouTube channel or on Twitter. Okay, thanks again for watching and... Uh, Hopefully catch up soon.